Hi there and welcome to Fashion Bowl. Today our DIY project is going to be this cardigan and we're going to be upstyling it, turning it from an open front cardigan to a button front cardigan. We're going to be adding two big buttons over here that are going to hold the front part of the cardigan and then a small black button that we're going to sew on the reverse side of the fabric right here. And the purpose of this small button will be to hold the back side of the cardigan. So I love this cardigan, it's open front, it's oversized, it's chunky, however it's not very functional. As you can see the fabric is quite thick, which means that I usually wear it during the fall or the spring and if it's windy or cold outside, it really serves no purpose other than being pretty. So the purpose of this DIY will be to turn this pretty cardigan into something that is also functional and can be worn in a windy weather with me still being able to use my hands. So, uh, to do this DIY project, we're going to be using two big buttons, like these over here, uh, matching thread, so in this case it will be black, and also a small plain button uh, for this part over here. You can obviously use whatever works best with the cardigan that you're working with. Um, we're not going to be using a sewing machine, so it's going to be really easy, really simple, just something you can do in less than an hour and upstyle your old clothes. A few things to note before we begin. First, I actually tried this a few days ago and it didn't go that well because I thought, well, let's just make buttonholes and use buttonholes to um, hold the cardigan here. However, this is a knit fabric, so basically when you make a buttonhole, it starts unraveling, it gets really loose um, and it's just not suitable for uh, cutting and making holes for the buttons. So you can probably still see some of the scars uh, from this experiment. However, after trying this, I realized that there is an easier way that will totally work. And it is by using hair elastics. So I have these black elastics right here. And I'm going to use them as loops that are going to actually hold the cardigan to the buttons. So right here. And then I have a very thin black elastic that I will use for the small button on the reverse side here. So this will be really easy. Um, the only sewing that will be necessary is for the buttons. Um, everything else will be pretty straightforward. So the first step would be to actually figure out where you want the buttons to be. And to do that, you can just put the cardigan on and then use pins and a vanishing marker to mark the position of the buttons. Basically, you want some buttons on the front that are not only going to hold the cardigan, but are also going to be decorative. And you want one small button on the reverse side over here to hold the back side of the cardigan together. So once you do that, make sure that you check after completing every step. So this means that after you sew the first button and make the first loop, you should stop for a second, put the cardigan on, and figure out if the pins and the marker for the rest of the buttons still look good. Basically, you can adjust things as you move along and you'll get a lot better results than if you just do everything at once and then try it on at the end. So make sure that after sewing every button and every loop, you stop and you check and you make adjustments if necessary. Okay, so for a more detailed how-to on what we'll be covering today, you can check our blog post. There you're also going to find links to everything that we'll be using for this project. And once you have all the materials ready, we can go ahead and get started.
This is our restyled cardigan and to close it, I just need to use this little loop for the button on the reverse side and then the two big loops for the two buttons on the front of the cardigan. Okay, and there you go. Now we have a button front cardigan that we can wear even if it's windy, even if it's cold, it still looks oversized, it still looks chunky, but now in addition to that, it's also functional and will keep you warm. I hope you enjoyed this very short DIY project and that you give it a try. Subscribe to our blog and our YouTube channel to see other fun stuff we're working on. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.